Welcome back to Purse First Impressions. My name is Bob the Drag Queen. Today we're reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race in 14, the Snatch Game episode. And I am joined by the absolutely stunning and lovely Trixie Miss, Mattel. Miss, Miss Trixie Mattel. No, Miss Rockham, <laughs> Miss Rockham Sakra. Yay, thank you for having me. I always say Trixie Mattel or Kimchi. Usually people say it to me. I'm like, okay, if they say Trixie, they're stupid. But if they say kimchi, they're, they're racist. racist. <laughs> <laughs> so at the top of the episode, Diabetti is annoyed that no one got sent home. And honestly, I agree. How do you feel? They've been there for at least, let's see, it's like two days per, like maybe two days an episode at max. For me, this was a month and a half. By the time I was on the 10th episode, it was a month and a half. Their families are long dead and have moved on. <laughs> and like, you know, when like sailors get lost at sea. <sighs> the kids will be in college now. New kids. It, yeah, they have children now. It's too much. Your partners I, have moved on. So I agree with Diabetti. It is, it's too, it is annoying. And it would, it would, it would piss me off too. Oh yeah, for sure. If I was there for that long. So they do the, okay. So they're doing a mini challenge. This mini challenge doesn't come with, doesn't come. The only thing you get is money. Normally you get like a little bit of an advantage in the episode, but they uh -huh. do this, this bubble wrap thing. Um, I mean, it's fine. It, it, it does seem like an opportunity to promote bubble tea. I mean, bubble, um, rap, no bubble, bubbly, bubbly, oh, the bubbly water. It just, it just seems like it's an opportunity to just promote bubbly water. I mean, the whole episode is like, it's sponsored by bubbly. Wait, did they even mention bubbly during the bubble wrap challenge? Yeah. They are, yes. Oh, okay. Literally nonstop. Well, I guess your advertisement didn't work on me. So. <laughs> They're like, and each of these, outfits, I bought a LaCroix afterwards. Each of these bubble wraps are inspired by bubbly. So thank you to Bubbly. Um, did you like any of the outfits in particular? No. Did you remember any of them? No. I actually thought Angeria's bubble wrap outfit was kind of amazing. I don't have a picture of it. We can put a picture here. They can see it. You and I can't yeah. see it. But they, they see it right here. I thought her picture, her outfit oh. was kind of good. Diabetes outfit where she looked like, um, she looked like Eureka as the baby. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the little thing. The little ponytail. Very much giving boss baby. Yeah, she... Boss baby, very much. Heavy. Yeah, Rika's boss baby. She, she, one of she, she was like, she's like, girl, I like boss baby. Girl, I like boss baby. Anyway, so um, let's talk about Snatch Game. So a lot of these choices are just bad. Let's let's just go through, look at these options, and just say which ones we think are just categorically bad choices. Could have gone differently. Let's start with Lady Camden as William Shakespeare. That's actually a good choice. It's a very good choice. I don't know why. She chose to do drag Shakespeare. I would have liked to see the mustache, the goatee, the receding hairline. <laughs> I would have rather. She looks like Max. Yeah, yeah this is Max Blanaby. <laughs> I would have rather seen that than this like drag rendition. And she just didn't. I would have gone with the fact that like the 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 the, uh, the notion or the uh, conspiracy theory that Shakespeare stole all of his work. Oh, so she could have done what Diabetti was doing and just stolen all of someone else's answers. And because she's first, she could have just stole their answers, written them down, and then said, I came up with these. The idea that Shakespeare may have been gay, um, the idea that Shakespeare was kind of like a diva of his time. Mm -hmm. There was so much stuff that she could have done, but instead she kind of... She chose the hard route, and she decided to actually make sonnets to every single answer. And also, she was pretending to be... Was it... Like a party animal? No, it was the... I can't remember the character she said she was going to be. I didn't know who the woman was. Me neither. But she was going to be that woman as Shakespeare. Which I just don't, I don't get. If you're, I mean, if you're going to be, do, like we were saying before, if you're going to do someone who doesn't, like, you don't know anyone, do something funny or at least uh, notable to, like, the drag race that you're on. Jasmine Kennedy does Betsy DeVos. Betsy DeVos. I do like political figures in Snatch Game because I feel like every time we've had, like, political figures in Snatch Game, they kind of fall flat. Because, like, well, no, we had one win. Who? Donald Trump. Yeah, but that, that, I mean, that, that, that's Donald Next Trump. level. That was next level. You know what she, I mean? She did a really fucking good job. It's just like with Betsy DeVos, she played it <clears throat> really just like she would have made a great Fran Trescher. She already <laughs> sounds like her. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what the plan was with Jasmine Kennedy as Betsy DeVos because I would have done Sarah Huckabee. I would have done <gasps> Ann Coulter. I would have done Sarah Palin. She said she was going to play her like Ann Coulter. Then just be Ann Coulter. Just be Ann Coulter. And Ann Coulter's also more famous than Betsy DeVos. Yeah, there was no point in doing it. It's because it's already been done. She's like, oh, I don't want to do a tag. Who did Ann Coulter? Uh, Evie Oddly did it in the musical. 
Oh, crap. that's fine. I would have been Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter, honestly, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be a political right wing woman, honestly, the obvious choice is go with Sarah Palin. She yeah. has a she has a very specific accent. She's got she catchphrases. Has, she has catchphrases. She's been like there's also a popular canon of her being satirized on SNL and on on, on the internet. There's so many. There's a lot for you to steal. Ex- basically, I mean, honestly, yeah, truly. Let's go on to Angeria's Tammy Brown. She looks so why funny. She, why does she have an afro? Because Tammy's hair is curly, curly, but she couldn't find a curly wig. It seems like that's it. Tammy does not wear an afro. <laughs> she looks like if uh, Richard Simmons had like a mental breakdown and parted his hair. Does Tammy wear blazers with turtlenecks? Um, I don't think so. I always think of Tammy with like, um, something like a a high neckline and like shoulders or like psychedelic print, maybe. Yeah, or something. exactly. Or, or, and I don't, is, I don't see it. I don't see it in this hair. Do the untucked hair for Tammy. Do the hair. Do the look from the uh reunion where she's like, you use your mouth, and her hairline is like back here. Oh yeah, but yeah. So I. I know the hair she's going for. I remember I remember this picture of Tammy Brown, uh-huh. but th- it wasn't an afro when Tammy Brown wore it. No. And <laughs> Tammy Brown does do this, but like, cons- like for- She also does this too. Yeah, but for like an hour? For an hour. And when you do Snatch Game, I don't know, I wasn't there. But when you do Snatch Game, you got to stay in character the whole time, the right? Whole, it's like an hour. It is an hour long improv. For one hour or more, you're just doing improv. This is a bad- Choice. And also, Tammy Brown has so many things. Tammy Brown has like, come on, tell a tubby, tell a Mars. 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 She has, I mean, walking children in nature. She mm-hmm. has found it. She it has, was a dead body. She has, uh, yeah, a dead body. She has, excuse your mouth. You, you, excuse, use your mouth. Excuse your mouth. <laughs> Hi, guys. I have this new I bracelet. I saw a line right here. I have this bracelet that I have. Did I ever tell you guys about the time I saw a dead body? <laughs> I'll be at DragCon this summer. <laughs> Um, George just decided to do Alana Glazier, and I think comedians are really a across the board bad choice. Yeah, because when you do snatch game, you're not laughing with your character. You're, you're laughing at, at the character. Yes. The whole thing is if you choose a character for snatch game, we have to be either laughing at how outrageous they are or just how stupid they are in or, general. Or unaware or something like that. Yeah, just anything like that. Like, have you has there been a snatch game where we laughed with a character because they I mean, kind had of, a smart, witty choice? We, like, we, I think that we laughed with Chad Michael to share. Okay. Because we were kind of like, you know, it was she was like doing share, but it's also kind of laughing at it because she was doing share as this like diva, being like, why am I at this little chicken shit gig? Uh-huh. I, we were like kind of laughing at the fact that Cher was doing an absolutely awful gig their share would never want to do. <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of, so we got kind of, we're still laughing at her. Yeah. It's still, I, really, if you are choosing a character for Snatch Game, someone to laugh at, not someone who is funny. You can't Maybe be, that's why someone hasn't done Wanda Sykes. Well, I think Carol Channing, who is funny, but I, but the humor I was relying on wasn't just Carol Channing's jokes. It is the notion of Carol Channing in this situation. Yeah. As an old lady. Exactly. Yeah. It also, another choice if you have a character, the absurdity that they're there in that spot at that moment. Yes. There's also this, they, they use this one clip, they kept using this one clip of George just doing this. <laughs> did you notice that? <laughs> yes. They kept using, but the thing is because George, just, she did it twice in a row. It looked like a gif. She, she, it looked like, it looked like, like a, they just a, reversed um, it for the next yeah, one. Yeah, what, what do you call it? A boomerang. She, she goes like, <laughs> but it what but she was doing it in real she was doing a real life boomerang she was like <laughs> and i kept being like she probably did that for an hour <laughs> she probably did that for a full hour she's and jerry is over here <laughs> <laughs> man that panel is wild and so, then ozzy osbourne's right in front of them so let's get down to willow pill who is drew barrymore bad choice i think willow pill thought she was at an actual interview like she was just <laughs> earnestly answering questions. That's what Drew Barrymore would do, and that's why you don't pick Drew Barrymore for Snatch Game. Like, I it's 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 so like baffling to me why you would choose Drew Barrymore. She's not funny. She's not funny to laugh at unless you have like a very niche sense of like meme edge lord humor. Unless we go into like 
unless you're Drew Barrymore during ET, when she, right before she went to rehab. Yeah. When Drew Barrymore was like a seven year old on drugs doing coke at Studio Sixty Four. That <laughs> or you, or pick a character like from Never Been Kissed. Yeah, or just come in as a zombie. Come in eating eating brains. Exactly. Or anything, but she was just and she only did the <laughs> Drew Barrymore mouth for like I feel like she didn't do it. She didn't commit to it, or maybe she did. And I just got sick of. I'm sick of looking at her. She did drag makeup on Drew Barrymore, and when I look at Drew Barrymore, you know what I see? No makeup. Yeah, it, it, it's it's. Not... She didn't have to put on any makeup. She could have done what Bag of Chips did on UK versus the World, and just put the wig on. Yeah, it was, it was, it was the fact that she was just she's so earnestly answering questions. Yeah, that made it weird. She goes, she, <laughs> she was just like because I could tell Willow had like a couple of jokes she wanted to get out. But Willow Pill would just like answer the question earnestly and then say her joke. Answer the question earnestly and then say her joke, which showed that she was not in the moment. She was not able to. She wasn't improving. Yeah, she wasn't. She wasn't yes. yes she, she was yes, but. Yeah. So yeah, but here's my joke. It, pretty much. I mean, <clears throat> it'll be called ET2 Phone Me Home. That was the joke that made me. I mean, I mean. Like the, the the most obvious joke is E. T. Bone Home. Yeah. That's like that's like the the that, that was the, the first one I, I I wish I could come with a better one, but the first one would be like it'd be it'd be X rated, not R it'd be X rated, it'd be, yeah. be E. T. Bone Home. And the and it stands for extra thick. Like, so, <laughs> like that's that's the joke. So let's move on to Deja Sky, who You find yourself liking her for a second? I, no, I, I, I like Deja Sky. I like Deja Sky throughout the whole season. I'm trying to wonder if Deja Sky would have won any other Snatch game. Here's the thing. For Deja to win, everyone else had to fail. Yeah, everyone episode. else was just so, so bad. But take the but, win. <laughs> but, but Deja Sky, she did do a good job, though. Yeah. Like, I actually thought that Deja did a really good job. I do wish that she... That when the grill fell out, she would have just kept it out. Because there was a moment where she kept trying to, like, I could tell she was trying to keep this grill in her mouth. The thing about grills is they're usually custom made. You have to get a custom made grill uh -huh. so they won't slip out of your mouth. Or you yeah. have to go to, like, one of those Halloween stores and get, like, the wax thing. And then the wax. Is it like a flipper? It's, it's basically yeah, a flipper. It's a flipper. But oh all God. the teeth are gold. Yeah. But Deja did a pretty, pretty good job. She picked a character who, who has a unique voice. Uh -huh. Who has catchphrases. Mm -hmm. Who has a very specific look. She chose to do the looks that, that, that the hits, the one that everyone knows. And she chose someone that she could do the isms and the voices. Right? She she interacted with the people around her. Mm -hmm. She had fun. There were some unpredictable moments. Yeah. She literally did all the things, in my opinion, that make for a great Snatch game, which is why no one else even literally stood a chance against her. Do you think it's better to have everyone else be bad around you for Snatch game? Or do you think it's better to have better people to volley with? It's better to have, it's better to have people who are funny with you. And let's move <laughs> on to Bosco as Gwyneth Paltrow. I will say out loud, I think the kombucha joke was funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny and too. I was gagged that no one laughed when she said kombucha. Maybe it's because it was it also tastes, really thick too. Maybe because it sounds too much like kombucha. I would have just really like drawn out the the. the I would have really drawn out the. Yeah, I heard that about you. I'd be like, <laughs> I've heard. It's like really just phone it in that it's come. I'd be like, oh, new kombucha, but we're shortening it to come. Yeah, something like like. Kombucha now with extra cum. Suck you know on I mean? my bucci. There's, there, there's something, but like kombucha does sound like kombucha. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's like too literal. To, but like she had the full prop of like the My Little Pony jar of cum. Yeah, esque like bottle. Why so my I thought, Little Pony? Do you not know about the pony jar? No. What is the pony jar? Do you know about this? If you guys in the comments know, leave a comment down below. The girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. <laughs> now let's go on to Ozzy Osbourne. Diabetti as Ozzy Osbourne, which is, okay, she starts off, first of all, Ozzy Osbourne is not Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who heard Australian too. But uh, not only that, but she also, the first thing she said was, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi is Australian. Australian. His name is Ozzy. His name is probably like Osmond. Was that the joke? Can you Google was Ozzy like Osbourne's real name? His name is probably like Osmond Osborne or something. Or probably just Ozzy because of Osborne. Was that the joke though? It was like, it sounds like Aussie? 
Well, Australians go Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. I know, but Aussie sounds like Aussie. What? John, 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 what? I'm John, John, oh, the boom, boom gun. I also would have loved, you know, what, you know what else Lady Kevin should have done because of how old Ozzy Osbourne is? Act like she knew Ozzy Osbourne. That's smart. And be like, oh, Ozzy, is that you down there, bruv? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I haven't seen you in years or something like that. You got some spare time. I need someone to play the king in Mackie. Right. That could have been Mackie. McBethy. Um, also, we, we, a lot of us millennials, you're a Gen Z. A millennial. Oh, you're a millennial? Millennial, yeah. A lot of us millennials, we know Ozzy Osbourne for two things. He, he's bitten the head off of several animals. Yeah. And, and from the Osbournes. Yeah. And Ozzy Osbourne does not sound, Ozzy Osbourne is, is, is He's really affected by drugs. So yes, like, and really the Sharon, you know. Yeah, you never know what he's saying. It's like the, the whole joke on the Osbournes was that he's just this like bumbling old man around mm -hmm. the house and just no one knows what he's saying. Yeah. And he has this like wacky wife who's like, all right, love, I'm Sharon Osbourne. <laughs> Here I am, Sharon Osbourne. I don't want to, like, this wacky, spunky, redhead of a wife, and then like this, like daughter, and then this, like kid, and then he's like, oh, did all the old boys always go to the You could also that. do this as a duo because she likes puppets, right? You could have Sharon Osbourne as a puppet, and Wait, she's uh, trans. Diabetic likes puppets. She she did a puppet runway. I'm sure she oh, likes right. puppets. Oh, that's right. No, she didn't do the. She looks yeah. like she likes puppets. Everybody likes puppets. She looks like she's a friend of Jim Henson. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody likes puppets. Yeah, everybody, everybody. That's everybody a, loves puppets. If you do Ozzy Osbourne, you can be like, and then Sharon translates. Yeah. The, oh, that would have been so great. She's like, all right, Ozzy, sorry, you know, don't. Yeah. The, also, one of my little moves, if he would have fallen asleep and then woken up as Sharon Osbourne. Pull off this wig, had a red shirt wig underneath. Ozzy had to take a step away for a second. Sorry, I'm going to step in there, RuPaul. I'm happy to be here. That would have been really fucking funny. That's Shakespeare. That's the, Listen, <laughs> I should have fucking done Smash Game. All right. Yeah. So who, who? okay, do you agree? I love that uh, when Diabetes said, I was as bad as Jimmy. <laughs> That's one of the best quotes of the episode. <laughs> I was as bad, bad as, as Jasmine, Jasmine Kennedy. Kennedy? Who was the bottom two? Who were the bottom two for you? Okay, so if we had instead of like a bottom seven, if I had to pick bottom two, it would be uh, Jasmine Kennedy, um, and maybe Georges or Willow Pill. Yeah, I will say I will say this: Angeria, Georges, and Willow Pill were all bad. Yeah, I, what I, was that thing that RuPaul said? She was like, "Don't, don't be down on yourself. You were all equally oh, as yeah, bad." Oh, yeah, that was great. Cause she said to George, "You know, you were all equally bad." Um, I will say this: I did get um, Willow Pill told a joke in the beginning that I really liked. I woke up at six sixty, which is basically seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get how that has anything to do with Drew Barrymore, but that is kind of funny. That's a funny joke. Angeria, I appreciate the effort. I don't know how this George's thing makes sense. So I would have had Jasmine Kennedy and Georges be in the bottom two. Or maybe Georges and... No, because Bob's got some good jokes, too. Jasmine Kennedy and Georges are in the bottom two. Again. You didn't... Again. You didn't think that everyone should have been punished? No. For I, us watching this episode? I don't think Lady Camden... I don't think Lady Camden was that bad. I don't think Lady Camden should be in the bottom with the other seven. And I don't think... I don't think Diabetes should have been in the bottom Diabetes either. wasn't that bad either. Mm-hmm. Like, Diabetes and Lady Camden should have been safe, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Let's look at their, um, <clears throat> let's look at the judges' outfits. I mean, RuPaul is wearing the dress RuPaul wears. It looks good. I didn't like that, that one little part where the, where the stones trickled onto the, this, like, mesh piece. Uh, the whole thing is a mesh piece. But then, like, the, the, but, you know, the backing part wasn't on the shoulder. The strap was just the mesh piece. Uh-huh. That one part, uh, but, I mean, everyone, everyone looks good. It's a Zaldi dress. Yeah, they're all, yeah. Yeah. All, all these Zaldi. Um, but everyone looks pretty good, though. Um... <laughs> Deja Sky comes. Okay, so the category is holy, holy couture. Holy couture. I didn't really get the runway. Like it's what you worship, right? I guess, but like Deja Sky worships bad bitches, so she's Joan of Arc. But also, you're not Joan of Arc. No, this. Well, she's also like Zendaya. Zendaya at the Met Gala. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's giving Florence in the Machine. 
very Florence in the Machine. But it, truly, what this whole picture gives me right now is that she worships white highlighter. Yeah, the, the highlight is is bright. Yeah, it's popping. All right, let's move on to Jasmine Kennedy, who I believe is worshiping the horoscopes. Um, she's a Gemini, and this outfit shows the duality oh, of Gemini's. And okay. then she takes it off, and the dress underneath is supposed to reveal the cosmos. Okay, um, it should have been a newspaper. Yeah, because so it shows her horoscope, horoscope all day long. Real. This dress is fine. I certainly don't get what she's saying just by looking at it. Um, yeah, I don't get horoscope from it either. Um, she certainly spins a good yarn. I do love I do love her makeup though. Her makeup um is kind of like the most interesting it's been all season. Cause every time I see her, it looks kind of like Alyssa Edwardy. Mm-hmm. And so this is the first time it's kind of like differentiated the way that she looks. Yeah. Um, I do like this um, what is it, the uh, electric cricket cut dress sort of thing. It looks really cool. It's nice and it's fancy. What references do you say electric cricket cut? Like, oh, what is it? Laser cut. Laser cut. Let's go to Angeria Perez, Ben Michaels, Dupree, Balenciaga, the house down boots, but you can just call her Angie. Angie. Um, this, look is, this look is pretty standard and basic. Yeah, but, but the thing is good. holy couture, right? So she's a, she's a church lady. It's a church lady, but is it couture church lady? Ooh. Because like the the theme is holy couture. Do I look like? Does this look like I could buy it at like a church lady store? Yes. <laughs> no, Save I, the whales, Tammy Brown. I spin your head around. Um, not Tammy having a full on stroke. You're right. I agree. This this uh, outfit looks like a standard church lady outfit, and it yeah. should have been more couture. Okay, so we found out that Willow Pill. Says that she, I don't know. She, I don't Do know think how it's facetious true? she's being. That she worships mushrooms. She, I really think some of these girls are really stretching. I feel like she really just had an idea for a mushroom outfit, and she's like, "I can work it into here." This is basically a freebie. You could say you worship anything. I could say I worship uh, um, Amazon drag belts. <laughs> I could have had a whole outfit, <laughs> a whole outfit, just Amazon drag belt. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I don't think that's the trick. Look around. Wear all Amazon drag belts and then put a nice drag dress over the belt. Just wrap it around. Wrap, take a all Amazon shitty cheap belt and then you take a, a couture custom garment and tie it around your waist. And this is turning drag on its head. I this challenge is you. This drag culture. And you know what? If someone makes a couture outfit with nothing but Amazon drag dresses, I will, or drag belts, I will give you props. There it is. No, this look is really good, though. She yeah. Said, she said the psychedelic mushrooms. I cannot mm-hmm. believe Drag Race let them, like, let let her on the show being like, yeah, I, I love shrooms. She looks like she's five and she just said she did mushrooms. <laughs> That's crazy. I love doing psychedelics. And honestly, it helped me out a lot with my illness and we're talking about, you know, alternative medicines. I was like, honestly, work. This outfit is really cool. Oh, I yeah. Love this it's look. either birthing, right? So she's uh, from Chicago and she does all the like the weird hands and all yeah. the fun silhouettes. Um, this is fun. This is couture. And it's very indicative of her personality. Um, Willow Pill is about six foot four, six foot five. Diabetti. You said Willow Pill. Oh, shit. Diabetti is about six foot four. You should have said Crystal. Five. I know, I know, right? <laughs> I was just looking at Willow Pill. I think Willow, Willow's name was still at the very top. Look, if I get kimchi, she gets crystal. That's just how it's, racism is. It's, it's how it is. It's called equality. I feel like, I, I agree with RuPaul, like this, this I mean, with Mas- Michelle, it's this ugly. dress is just, way, one, it is way too short. It's yeah. just, and I get it, you're tall, but this is why we, this is why I'm 6'2". No, she said it was too long. She wanted it to be shorter. No, she, I think she said it's too. Sh- yeah, yeah. It's in the. It should have either been to the floor or all the way up. Mm-hmm. But mid shin is not where a dress stops. Mm-mm. It's just it's not the T. I get it. I'm six two. I'm not as tall as you are. I understand that. But also at the same time, Mama, not this. Like mm-hmm. this is. Why would you wear that dress? Why would you do that? She had a lot of cross earrings, and she had a wedding dress. And, and a, she said, and "You a- know what I worship." Earrings, Amazon earrings, and, and wedding dresses, and wedding dresses. Yeah, um, yeah. This is this is, and then she fell. <laughs> That's what she gets for wearing those big ass lucite shoes. Yeah, these are this is a monster shoe. Yeah, this is a monster, and she's already like six four, six five. Yeah. So let's go on to Georges. Georges is like the Pope. 
I guess she worships weed, y'all. This runway is <laughs> like it's bad. She worships honestly, the Pope. That's I would not be a like, joint. Guys, they need to be like religious figures. Like make it religious. Do religious figures. Don't don't tr- stop trying. If the, if it was holy bodies and religious figures, the girls are trying too hard to think. She's the Pope as a joint, like. Somehow it's like avocado, like holy moly. Yeah, if the if the Pope was was high and and had purple hair and smoking a joint, but also it's the Wizard of Oz. It's like it's not like that full emerald green. Here's the thing: if you worship weed, you should come out as laganja, mama. <laughs> you should come out as laganja, full laganja, estranja. It was dry, kind of like, <laughs> like your, your vagina, vagina mama. That is one of the listen, laganja. If you're watching. Thank you so much for that moment in yeah. TV. Thank you so much for looking directly into the eyes of a senior citizen who's quite frankly probably dead now. Yeah. Probably not with us anymore. You looked her in her eyes on international television and you said it's dry. You made eye contact with an old woman and you said kind of like your vagina. <laughs> That's Honestly, called- <laughs> not all heroes wear capes. Um... Let's go on to Lady Camden. If you put all of these people side by side and said, what's the category? I'd be like, bitch, I don't Spice fucking girls. know. Oh, uh, yeah, seriously. What's the category? Uh, brunch gig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Lady Camden is worships the Spice Girls. Which it reads you, as Spice Girls, though. You worship the, like, you worship, guys, you all are saying you worship. You worship weed. You worship the Spice Girls. Yeah. You worship psychedelic mushrooms. Amazon belts. You, you <laughs> worship. You you worship bad bitches. Worship them, guys. You're trying to. It's it's too out of the box. I mean, what, I mean, what do these people really worship right now? I don't even drag know. race. That some for that's a reality for some of the people that get on drag races. They worship the show, but they can't just be like, "I'm RuPaul." I mean, they could do that. I mean, that's good ass kissing. It would have been better than what we got. Do you like this outfit? No. And then Bosco is um is a nun. If I could come back on the drag race and do it all over again, <laughs> I would want to be a skinny white lady. <laughs> Cause then I could get away with runways like this every single time. Yeah, what, do you, what does she worship again? I get well, she grew up Catholic. So this at least this is like some sort of a, a religious body. Okay. I will say that. This is she. She said it was a habit reveal, but like I can see the habit. I like it's not a reveal to a habit. It's it's a bad habit. But also this 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 the <laughs> the first part isn't a costume. She looks like she looks like a thumb with a nail on it. <laughs> right there. She, wait, she, wait, what, what's that? What's that cartoon with the with the with the with the face and the mask and the eyes that are just like little. Oh, Spirited Away. She looks like Spirited Away in the first one. She looks like Sexy No Face. Very much so. So which look was this was y'all, this whole episode. This is a was hard not look. strong. No. This was a rough one. So they deserve punishment. I mean, honestly, well, we're the ones being punished. <laughs> yeah. Would they get more TV time? My favorite look was Willow Pill. Yeah, mine too. And my least favorite look was um probably uh Mm. You I'm really, gonna go with Lady Camden. You really let George's have it though. Oh, I hated Diabetes look the worst. Because the the fit, the way that it was just on wasn't very good. Um was there a reveal? The reveal was she fell. <laughs> <laughs> I just hated this runaway. I hated it. And I <laughs> and I I'm I'm annoyed that no one's gone home again. And I just know how that many whoever weeks loses this fucking lip sync is, is gonna going have to it. have that fucking piece of shit candy bar and i have a sneaking suspicion that willow is gonna lose the lip sync smackdown willow and open up the thing and she's and gonna have, have a gold that fucking candy bar i let's see out of the people that are here that could possibly lip sync i think hmm I, we haven't seen bosco really lip sync she's done like burlesque and stuff like that she has assured us that she is a brilliant lip singer she said it in the episode 
I mean, so has everyone that's ever been on the show has a shirt that Disney they're always lip-syncing. in me. Exactly. Yeah. So Trixie said she was a great lip syncer during her Trixie season. Would never. Trixie lost every lip sync she's ever been a part of. She said on her season, she's like, my specialty is lip syncing. Yeah. Um. I mean, I, I think if Bosco, that's what I would say. You but then lose it. No, I think, she, yeah, lose it and then have the ticket. At this point, this whole season is chocolate. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, thank you all for joining us. <laughs> this has been Purse First Impressions. I know I'm unhinged this week. I know. I am unhinged. That's my fault. I've had it. Next week, send these hoes home. 